What's up everyone, Brian Bray Guy here. Um, you can see by the video. Are UFC pay-per-views low? Are they lower than they used to be? Um, they aren't. If you go back to 2010, 2011, 2009, 2008, those were the glory years of the UFC. There were some terrific fights and terrific pay-per-views, but the numbers speak for themselves. I don't have the list in front of me. There's a site, I forget the site you can go to, and it shows every single pay-per-view by listed. Um, there has been, I will admit, there has been lower pay-per-views in the last few years. It's just because the stars aren't as big as they used to be. Um, and I felt when the UFC first came to rise, around 2005, it's the Ultimate Fighter, 2006, 2007, 2008, I started learning about it in 2007. You saw it during those periods that the UFC just rise. And 2010 was dominant, 2011, those, 2012, those were some phenomenal years. Um, now we're in this point where I feel, when before it was cool to be a UFC fan, it was cool to wear a tap out, it was cool to say you watch MMA. But now I think it's more so with the hardcore fans, or the fans, and then just casual fans of the fans. There's no more mainstream fans. Those mainstream fans will watch fights like the Connor fights and Connor against Mayweather type of thing or a John Jones fight. Those mainstream fans will watch. Those mainstream fans will come to see George St. Pierre. But like the Whitaker, Bisbing, the reason why I did this video, I thought it would be a good idea just to throw this out there. The Bisbing, Whitaker pay per view did between 125 and 150 estimated. Which isn't surprising at all. I think those were the numbers. I could be fucking that up. I think those were around the numbers that I read. Excuse me. Um, and you see guys like Mighty Mouse who get they get he gets that numbers. He gets 120. He gets 130. That's his pay per view buy numbers. Um, so so many of his paper, so many of his championship fights are on fight nights, which is absolutely crazy. Just imagine a Connor, imagine Connor Alvarez on a fight night. It just it wouldn't happen. Um, you look back as I referenced earlier about this website if you look back you saw a lot of 200 and 300,000 pay-per-view buys um, you saw the odd 500,000 then the Rashad Evans and Rampage was a million way back in the day Tito and Chuck their second fight was a million so you had those fight cards where it reached a million I know Silva and Son and it was like 900 a couple George St. Pierre fights were 900 so you had those stars make those 900s but other pay-per-views you saw, if you look at the list, it's like 300, 400. So, the UFC, it's not like the UFC, their pay-per-view buys are dying. I think it's just, I guess they are, I don't know. It's just, there's more, there's lesser, there's more and less pay-per-view buys. There's more pay-per-view buys that are, more pay-per-views that the buys are one, like, 150 or 200 or so before. The average was probably around 300, 400. Um... I just think a lot of it is, like I said, the mainstream fans aren't around anymore because it was cool at one time to walk around in Tapo because everyone thought you knew how to fight. I'm guilty of it. I thought it was cool to wear Tapo. It's just funny how that has changed where it's, you know, you wear Tapo, you're kind of a loser. Um, so, yeah, uh, I don't think it's so much dying. I think UFC is growing. As you can see, it's growing to other markets. Other countries, you know, they're getting Japan and Thailand in on this, in on this. and now we got a fight night in the Netherlands. Like this is phenomenal where the UFC is growing, uh, going on to. You know, we're adding all these weight classes. It's absolutely amazing. Um, I just think maybe it's economics. Maybe people just don't have the money to buy a sixty dollar pay per view. Like, look, I'll admit I'm the biggest UFC fan you'll ever meet, but I it would be tough for me to buy, you know, a Yoel. And Whitaker for 60 bucks, it'd be tough for that. And, you know, especially with the main card, not to be disrespected to the fighters on it, but, you know, something like a 214, UFC 214, that's a $60 buy. You know, a 205, that's a $60 buy. 202, that's a $60 buy. 90, UFC 196, you know, that's a, that's a $60 buy. So, 189. Now, those are, those are 194. Those are $60 buys. Um, just like fight nights like this. You know, we had a couple. You know, I know even a Ronda Rousey, you know, she did well too, but it's just, I think, I don't know, it's hard, it's tough to say that the UFC is dying because it's growing so much. I just don't think people are, people don't know who Yoel is, people don't know who Whitaker is, so it's hard to sell those guys. Where before, maybe it's the UFC, they're not promoting fighters enough then, because I feel like everyone, 
you know, knew these fighters, but that goes with me saying everyone thought it was cool to be a UFC fan. So it's easier to know the fighters if you think it's cool. Oh, yeah, I know who Rich Franklin is. Yeah, I watch him fight all the time. I'm a big fan of the UFC. So I think maybe it's a bit of that. It is maybe a bit of economics. But regardless, the UFC is at the highest level it's ever been as far as competition, as far as athletes. Um, you know, you guys get, obviously got people like Connor who's hanging around, who's killing the game. John Jones is killing the game. Um, George St. Pierre is back, which is wonderful. So, yeah, um, well, let me know what you think. If you think the UFC's dying or you think the UFC pay-per-view buys are too low, I think they're good. It's coming from a guy who knows nothing about business, so I don't know how the UFC's doing well with the money and all that, but you sell for $4 billion, you must be doing something right. Um, yeah, so let me know what you think of the pay-per-view buys. I think they're good, you know. And I don't know why everyone's all hung up on pay-per-view buys. Like, why Why does it matter what a pay-per-view does? Why do you have to judge the card on that? Because I've seen some phenomenal fight nights that did shit in the ratings that were f just phenomenal fights. So, I think we're too hung up on numbers. We're too much hung up on how many views you get on YouTube. We're too hung up on how many followers we have on Instagram. We're too much on that, on the numbers and how the you know, bigger numbers the cooler you are, I guess. But, I think... Regardless, like I said, the UFC is at the highest level it's ever been for competition, so I don't think it's going to go anywhere. It's very primal to watch fighting, so yeah. <clears throat> Let me know what you think. If the pay-per-view buys are too low, and yeah, thank you very much for watching.